Howdy y'all, Lone Star Rider here. I have a product review. Yes, the Ulanzi metal case for the DJI Action Osmo 3. Y'all stick around. Lone Star Rider on his motorcycle. Well guys, I'm glad you stuck around. I've been waiting for some third party to put out a metal case for the, the DJI Osmo Action 3. Uh, you're asking why do you want a metal case? Well, I put my camera on my motorcycle, my trailer. When it does fall off, uh, it has some kind of protection and keeps it from tearing it up. So, and a metal case like this one here on my DJI Osmo Action 1, they just call it Action. This used to be black, the sun bleached this out, isn't that wild? Yeah, you can see the black here. <laughs> I think I kind of like that color. <laughs> uh, this one here is from Small Rig, and I purchased it, and the reason I purchased it from small rig is that the battery, you can excess it without having to take the cage off. Well, that's not true with this one here. Uh, but I still think I like this cage because it, it opens a whole lot easier than this one did. On the back, you just unscrewed it and taken off, but I never took the cage off, so um, didn't matter anyway. It does make these cameras a little bigger and a little heav heavier but it gives them a whole lot more protection. So let's open this up, take a look at it. Let's compare them a little bit closer. And now if you want the short version of this is that I really like this cage. It's pretty nice. The only thing I don't like about it is that you have to take the cage off to access the battery. But luckily the cage just unhooks real easy. All right, this is what the box looks like. This is how it comes. Uh, so this is going to be a little bit of an unboxing, but there's not really that much to unbox. So this is what you get right in here with the bubble wrap. Now I've already wrapped it, unwrapped this and looked at it. I just wrapped it up and put it back in the box like it came. Uh, it has this little uh, thing in here. It says qualified certificate. So this All right, this is what the cage looks like. It's a really nice looking cage. It has a, a dead shoe here, has a three quarters uh, screw here and on the bottom. And the other really cool thing is here it, it has, which I probably may or may not use, but you flip this out and you have a mount for the GoPro system. If I can get this up, there we go. So that's pretty cool. Uh, the other thing that uh, I'm really wanting from this is that it connects to the magnetic mount here on this DJI Osmo Action 3. Uh, that is really important. So if that doesn't work, then I'm going to have to uh, send it back. Uh, this is the plastic cage here. And it works with the magnetic stuff, but this is plastic. And it goes in here real easy and snaps in. Um, this does allow a little bit protection for the camera, but I want a metal cage that's gonna give it more protection for this thing. So we're gonna see how this goes in here. So it has a little red button on the top and you just push it forward and it opens up. This goes in, just slides right on in and clicks, you hear that little click and then it's in there. You got this protective cage that this camera is in now. You're able to access the button here and you're able to access the, the door for the 
USB plug-in, which I use a lot, uh, you're able to access the other button here to turn it on and do the modes. On the bottom, uh, we're going to test it out here in just a minute to see if it connects to the uh, magnetic mount, which I hope it does. I've got the uh, magnetic mount here. Let's see if this actually works with this. It actually does. Snaps right on and it's tight and it doesn't shake. It's not kind of as quick and snappy as it is with the camera directly on it. But hey, as long as it works, I am really happy with this. Uh, it doesn't go flying out. Let's see if it uh, does it in portrait mode for the connection here. Yes, it does. All right. I am very happy with this. This is uh, pretty slick. So you got it mounted. Oh, that makes a little noise. I wonder if that's the... Well, it is moving just a tad there, but it's not letting go. I wanted a solid click on this. Let's see if that does that on the bottom. Now, it doesn't do it on the bottom, but it does it on the portrait side. I don't know, maybe I need to do this thumb thing here. It has a thumb deal where you can tighten it down. Let's see if that helped. Let's go to the back to the back here. Nope, still doing it. Well, that is one negative I found about this cage uh, is that portrait. But for me, I don't use portrait. Well, I can't say I'm never going to do it, but I don't use portrait on here. Uh, but it's real important. i got to learn how to match this up. There we go. So I'm, I'm happy with that part right there. You got access to that that you do not have access to the battery to switch it out which is a minus so the little shake and the not accessing the battery which i understand why uh, is the only two negatives i have about this cage so because uh, i do switch out batteries every once in a while but the release here pretty nice comes right out Switch to batteries and the memory card, one or the other, and then there you go. Um, it would be nice if this if you pushed it back and it locks, but it doesn't do that. Other than that, I'm liking it. It's a it's a nice cage. I wonder if it'll turn gold color from the sun beating on this. You never know. Um, Hey, this one's got a little rough. I could probably replace that, but this has protected the glass pretty good. I don't know if you can see this. It's got some roughness to it. That's because I've dropped it a couple of times. But anyhow, I really do like this cage here. I really like Ulanzi stuff, so we'll see if this lives up to it. I'm pretty sure it will. And uh, if you want to know where to get this, you can only get it on their website right now. I don't think you can get it on Amazon. I pre-ordered this. If there's anything I don't like about this, I will certainly do another post uh, after a few months of it being on my trailer and doing all kinds of things with it. We'll see how well it works. Um, it's, I'll have all the details for this Yolanzi uh, cage. And I'll have the one for the small rig down below if you still have a DJI Action 1 because uh, this is a good cage. I'll see if uh, Ulanzi has a cage for the one. I don't think they do, but if they do, I'll have it here and down below. Yes, I will. And guys, if y'all are not subscribed to me, y'all should be. Click on that subscribe button down below and then hammer the hell out of that bell and you'll get an email notification that I've uploaded a video.
And if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, share, comment, let me know what you think. Catch you on the road with the Ulanzi metal cage for the DJI Osmo Action 3. Very cool. When it does fall, <laughs> when it does or when it, y'all can make your own decision. <laughs> I don't even know what it weighs. What does it weigh? Yeah, well, let's see. We're going to point down, 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 down. Let's stop. With, <laughs> with, 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 with. Catch y'all on the road. La, 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 la. Catch y'all on the road with the Lonzi uh, cage for the DJI. Catch y'all on the road. Yulanzi. I'll see if you Yulanzi. Man, that's a lot of to say in one word. Hey, I've been using the, the mic for the DJI mic. I told you I was going to be using it.